My name is Matt Yushabowski. I'm a manufacturing engineer on American Centerfire here in Maiden. I'm responsible for receivers, bull handles, and assembly. Uh, this machine right here is Receivers Op 10. Here we bore the hole for the bolt body to fit into, and we do a quick square up to prep it for the next operation. This operation is Op 20. Here we turn the OD, which you'll see a little bit of on the finished receiver. Most of it is done for fixturing purposes. So it's just an OD turn here real quick. Op 40, we actually create the threads for the barrel and we create the lug contour. One of the features on our new gun is there's a little pad inside here that is supporting the, the uh, extractor. So that gives it when the extractor pulls back, it'll actually hit this pad now. That's a new feature. What's the advantage of that? Huh? What's the advantage of that? Just support to keep give it more support so that the lug and the bolt isn't pushing as hard. We have multiples of these machines. It's a one piece flow, so we need three of these to keep up with the first two ops. We got all of our gauging for these ops. After they gauge the parts, we go in uh, op 50. This is where the bulk of the work is done on the receiver. This operation, we're cutting the fire control pocket, the mag well, we're doing the ejection port, and then we have the bolt stop slot and some other little features. A new feature on Gen 2, we call it a billboard cut. So what you used to see on the barrel, we're now marking on the side of the receiver, all of it. So we've got this cut here for the Ruger American to go. After we're done with Op 50, we do all of our quality checks on Op 50, and then we get Top 6080. So Op 6080 is the same as a Gen 1. We've got the new tank cut implemented, and then we've got a couple other cuts I'll show you when that opens up. So op 6080, we do the we do a tang cut. So we're finishing the tang and putting some chamfers on it. We do this little relief cut right here. And then we we cut the uh, feed ramp. So after op 6080, the machining is complete on receivers, and then we go to tumble. This is the only operation that gets done in batch. So we'll put nine receivers in here, tumble them. When they come out, it's ready to go over to torque. This is where bolt, barrel, and receiver come together and we create a barreled action. Once the barreled action is complete, it goes to finishing. Bowl handles is two operations. We have a milling and a turning operation. The milling operation, we're creating the profile that fits inside your bowl. And we've got a couple of features for the firing pin to retain it. The the Gen 2 bolt handle has actually got a feature that allows for a three position safety on the new gun. So this little cut has to be there or your three position safety won't work. After we mill it, 
we go ahead and turn it. So it's got the same profile as a Gen 1 here, but it's a threaded bowl handle. So we have a bolt knob that goes on. It's a 5 16 24 thread, standard thread. So any aftermarket bolt knob you want will also fit on here. It's a nice little feature. After we turn it, we do a bend and then it goes into tumble. After tumbling, they get taken out and they go to finishing. Once they're done in finishing, they actually go to bolt build. So when they put the bolt together, you got a finished handle on it.